Hey, welcome back guys to New Trip. Here in this video, we will visit one of the most well-liked travel destinations in Europe. It's a pretty amazing city. Amsterdam is a place you shouldn't miss when considering a European city vacation, since it is bursting with wonderful culture, incredible nightlife, world-class museums, and historical treasures. Every time, you will have a great time. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned till the end of the video to know the amazing places of the old Dutch city. With that, let's see the art collections at the Rijks Museum. The National Museum, one of Amsterdam's most well-known attractions and unquestionably the city's most significant art repository, was established in 1798 to hold the nation's enormous collection of rare art and artifacts. Over 8,000 significant paintings are included in the museum's extraordinary collection of 1 million cultural relics that spans 250 rooms and the period from the 13th century to the present. In addition to its collection of paintings, the Rich Museum is home to a well-stocked library with more than 35,000 books and manuscripts as well as a number of intriguing exhibits focusing on the evolution of Dutch art and culture. Its collections of traditional handicrafts, medieval sculpture, and contemporary art forms are particularly noteworthy. There are numerous themed guided tours in English available. Try the enjoyable art history canal boat, which visits many of the locations featured in the Rich Museum's exhibits for a unique experience, or reserve a meal at the Michael and Starred restaurant. There are guided tours offered in English, Purchase your tickets online in advance to avoid lines. Roughly 2.5 million people attend each year. On your next stop, experience great art at the Van Gogh Museum. The magnificent Van Gogh Museum, a must-see for art lovers and historians, has been one of Amsterdam's top attractions since it opened in 1972. The world's largest collection of Van Gogh paintings and artifacts is housed in this contemporary Jarrett Rietveld-designed building, much of it donated by his brother, Theo, and other family members. It is dedicated to the often troubled life and extraordinary artistry of one of the nation's most revered painters. The collection is divided into significant times in the artist's life and includes an astonishing 200 paintings. 500 etchings and sketches, 700 letters sent to, and by, friends and family, and more. The incredible Meet Vincent van Gogh Experience, an engaging multimedia exhibition of the painter's life and times through lifelike digital reproductions of his work, is a highlight of any trip. The works of van Gogh's contemporaries, including well-known artists like Paul Gauguin and Henry de toulouse lautrec are also noteworthy. Check the availability of the museum's instructional workshops in fields like painting and photography if you have the time. There is also a library, a shop, and a cafe on the property. Coming to Cafe Hill Street Blues for party people, you fall head over heels for the graffiti-covered walls and other surfaces at Cafe Hill Street Blues. Every square inch of the room is covered in elaborate artwork created by every artist who has ever set foot inside. It has recently been skillfully transformed into this cult favorite hiding place. The police station that was close by gave Cafe Hill Street Blues its moniker. It is currently undoubtedly one of the city's most Instagrammable locations. Only Amsterdam's resto cafes can provide cuisine and beverages of this caliber. The bakery offers the greatest croissants and hot chocolate in the area. Every night focuses on a different genre. Even from a few blocks away, one can hear rock, hip-hop, and reggae music screaming. On a completely unrelated issue, I'd like to make the following statement. The upper area is a stoner's haven with a full marijuana menu. Wayne and Fockink is the next place for you if you want to have group fun. 
This gorgeous bar is exclusively used for wine sampling. This charming small spot, which is close to Dam Square, has stylish decor and light-filled windows. Few people frequent wine-tasting-focused pubs because, in the eyes of some, the nightlife is all about drinking and having fun. However, one in Fokink, also known as Proflokal in Dutch, breathes new life into the idea and gives it a more genuine feel. Make sure you have at least seven companions because you can only enter as a group. Old wines and liquors, some of which date back centuries, are properly stored in the cellar. Draft beer, fruit brandies, and genevers, which come in ancient bottles, are things of genuine joy. Try their half and half, jack in the cellar, perfect bliss, walk in the woods, and bride's tears. They taste just as creative as their names. Next on our list is Tolhustuin. Tolhustuin is a collection of buildings in and of itself, and it is incredibly beautiful. The dance floor resembles a big ballroom, and the garden and the campsite all serve as venues for wild parties. It is well known for both its nightlife scene and its cultural ambience. It is a kayfabe restaurant by day that highlights the sophistication in the space, and at night, it is decked up in super awesome party lights. Tolbustun is the location to visit whether it's for theater, concerts, shows, talks, or anything else. A fantastic reputation to have is for great alcohol. People watch at Dam Square is another fun thing to do in Amsterdam. Dam Square is one of the busiest tourist areas in Amsterdam, and with good reason. The Royal Palace, which served as the Dutch royal family's former residence, and as a location for royal events today, is its most notable feature. Top tourist destinations, including the new church Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and the National Memorial Statue, honoring Dutch troops who died in World War II, are located on Dam Square. Naturally, a wide variety of cafes, restaurants, and shops line this enormous public area, which is often frequently crowded with sellers offering food and trinkets. Along with a Ferris wheel that's great for obtaining a fresh perspective, tourists will also find a ton of entertainment options, from excellent music festivals to street performers and buskers. Visit one of the world's oldest botanical gardens. This popular attraction was first established in 1638 as a modest herb garden for physicians and apothecaries. It now has uncommon plants and trees, unusual flowers, and a sizable hothouse that simulates various tropical climates. Exploring the wonderful ancient pavilion, a hexagonal building from the late 17th century, as well as the 1870s orangery are highlights of a visit. Another noteworthy building is the Palm House, particularly for its architectural design. The gardens are home to numerous rare plant and tree species, which is exciting for plant enthusiasts. Examples of Persian ironwood trees and numerous tropical plants can be found in the old hothouse. There is a cafe on the premises for those who want to stay longer. Go wild at Arties, Amsterdam Royal Zoo. The superb Royal Zoo of Amsterdam, Arties, is only a short five-minute stroll from the botanical gardens. One of the first zoos in Europe, this top attraction opened its doors in 1838. It features numerous animals from all over the world in a shady garden setting sprinkled with numerous old structures. For instance, the aquarium, built in 1882, has unique exhibits like a look under an Amsterdam canal and a coral reef system. The Nocturnal Animal House, Zoological Museum, Insectarium, Butterfly Pavilion, and Planetarium are further highlights. If you want to take a souvenir, then you might want to go shopping in Kalverstraat and Vluimarkt. Every vacation has a turning point when a little retail therapy is required. 
Amsterdam has a ton of fantastic stores, whether you're looking for high-end luxury items, regional crafts, or entertaining souvenirs. The Kalverstraat, with its numerous upscale stores, galleries, perfumeries, cafes, and restaurants, is the most well-known and frequently busiest. Even though the crowds can be a little scary, the experience is one you won't soon forget. Visit Amsterdam's renowned flea market, the Vloeimarkt, for a totally unique shopping experience. It's a true feast of goods, including everything from food and antiques to new and used clothing. The flower market, Blomenmarkt, a historic floating market that originally offered every kind of plant imaginable, offers another distinctive shopping experience. And last, watch the sunset at Plik. The inhabitants of Amsterdam love coming to this great little restaurant. On a summer or winter evening, go to Plik, get a hot chocolate or a bottle of wine, and take in the city's sparkling sunset. It's one of the hippest areas in Amsterdam and definitely worth spending some time in. You should head here to see Amsterdam's best sunsets. Well, this brings an end to our video, but we will come back with some new and interesting videos of traveling in the future. Till then, make sure that you like our video and do share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel New Trip to get travel videos from us regularly. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, travel safely.